everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for the feedback about this particular type of videos. I'm certainly going to be doing a few more. Certainly it's something a little bit different from just doing some readings. So let's let's talk about something today, shall we? Yeah, the title of this video is Readiness for Harmonious Twin Flame Union is Oneness with the Divine. And the entire Twin Flame journey, in a nutshell, from start to finish, is that when you love yourself, all is revealed. So it's all, it's all in your hands. You have the power. It's just self-love. When you dare to raise your gaze and look at the divine, remember that although we're fixated on the person, there's only, it's only ever you and the divine. Uh, your Twin Flame is you. And you're one with them and you're one with the divine. So when something something isn't quite working, one is not in the correct relationship with the divine. Lowering one's gaze, dare I look, dare I seek relationship with the divine? Raise your eyes to meet your own divinity and the divinity of the entire universe. Because when you love yourself fully in every area, your relationship with your twin flame is fulfilled. And, and that doesn't mean that anything has to happen between yourself and your twin flame for union to manifest. It's about you and your relationship with God. A harmonious union is right there. It's right here. You don't need to reach for it. It's just you meeting the divine in the place where the divine says, I'm one with you and you're cool with it. Nothing out there, in inverted commas, needs to shift in order to realise that. It's an internal moment, internal communication, internal realisation. That point in the journey where we shift into, oh, it's just me and the divine, there's nothing to fix here. I don't need to dismantle anything out there. I just need to know that I can have divinity. And as you and your twin flame move closer and closer to each other, it's natural to still be experiencing a touch of anxiety or anxiousness. It's okay, nervousness. As you heal through that and you can feel your person moving closer to you, it may feel as if they're stepping out into your light. So what do you do with that? Nothing. Just being of the light is enough. Your presence alone is ever loving. That's your very, es e your very essence. Your profile picture, everything you do, every tiny little thing transmits the energy of Christ consciousness, the energy of love within you. And the signs and indications that you receive from your person, you notice them when the divine prompts you to notice. But looking, looking for it, looking for clues on social media, it can be a symptom of anxiety and a symptom of needing love. Because, is he... It, we, we may have made a habit out of looking out there for love instead of going within. Your twin flame doesn't need to appear to your mind in this way for you to know that this love is yours. Because you are love. You are, you are that love. You, simply by existing. The divine is the fountain of all love. Always existing. Always within you. Going within is the corner that the collective is turning. It's time to shift perspective to the higher perspective the higher point of view and you, it's about you loving you letting the divine into you is what brings you your twin flame looking outwards is what, what they're doing or not doing is, is not helpful if you do see something that does disappoint you that's okay just go in and heal they're just giving you the next pieces if you could do with seeing a little bit more happening externally Deliver love to yourself there. This journey is not about waiting for a desire to be fulfilled. For example, if you've got a feeling of lack, just give yourself what you need in that place for satisfaction. Waiting for anything external to satisfy you will not be necessary. Frustration will not be necessary either. Satisfaction does not come from your twin flame. You're not waiting for them to do something. You don't have to wait for them to do anything. It's always within you right now. And you are ready now, not tomorrow when you fix something else. The divine doesn't say that you're still a bit broken. It's when you, 
It's just when you you choose to be ready to reveal it to yourself. Your journey is unique, but you want to undo all the places where you thought that you were waiting, because the power is 100% yours. The understanding that you're only ever having a relationship with the divine and the lifting of your eyes to meet the divine, that is harmonious union. If you have not yet met that awareness, it's safe and compassionate to understand that it's your own re readiness to meet with the divine fully that makes you ready. You're always ready, but there may be a feeling within that tells you you might not be able to do it, to do this, that the challenges are too great, and that's okay. But you're always ready because everyone is. You were born ready. You don't need to do anything to be ready. The spiritual work is to build a solid foundation, but you're always ready. You just have to get into the awareness. It's an aha moment, and the divine is bringing you everything you need to get there. Harmonious union is a frequency. Wealth is a frequency. The perfect body is a frequency. And you will attract everything that you desire when you tune to that frequency, that particular frequency. We know these key moments because we're always having them. Each builds upon the last, so there's no waiting involved. There's no sense of ever not being good enough or rich enough yet. We're never broken. There's nothing to fix. Harmonious union isn't in the future. It's always right here. You don't need to go anywhere. It's not over there. On you. It's not on your Twin Flames Facebook profile. It's here. There comes a point where you have to move into a place of total surrender and say, okay, God, I'm ready for you. Choose harmonious union with the divine and let that be enough. Trust the divine. Let go of the old story about not being able to have it, not being worthy enough, etc, etc. If that program is running right now, then that's what's been de deactivated. Completely uninstall, disc clean up. You're being brought the awareness that it was always here. The illusion, the lie that it wasn't is what's being deactivated. Surrender to your full power. You have the power to manifest your union. And that power is love, not force. You don't need to defend anything, just relax and trust. Step into your power, no more playing small. Nothing you post on social media that your, that your person sees will make them realise anything, but your energy being present means everything because it's present anyway within your union. It's not your twin flame's attention that you're after, it's the divine. And in harmonious union, if you look to your twin flame for this it would be confusing if they do not reciprocate but it's only you why aren't you loving me why i ain't why ain't i loving me that can only reflect the love that you're already giving to yourself within that's letting the divine in the divine is your source if your twin flame walks in and say 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 that they they've made you a lovely dinner it's because you've already nourished yourself there so they show up for you, giving you all the love you've already shown yourself. Don't misplace the source. Some people have failed to maintain their unions because they left the divine out. They left God out. One comes into this work wanting their twin flame, but the work is ascension, ascending to perfect union with the divine or full enlightenment with our person by our side. But a person is just us. It's just us being our entire self. Any part of you that's unloved, they're just as unloved. They're showing you the places where you need to love yourself a little bit more. They can't fix anything themselves. Your twin flame doesn't slot in and love you in the places where you're not loving yourself. They'll only come, they'll only come and love you in the places you've already loved yourself. If there's more to do there, if there's more to do here, there, then that's okay. Honour what suits you in every area of your life. Choose for everything to be the right fit and the right quality for you that you feel and you should receive. No more settling for less. We're not doing that anymore. Also keep an open mind in terms of having flexibility regarding change. It's okay to not try to keep things the same. Move with the divine. It's not about wanting the divine to do what we want. God knows better. And this is where ego wants to hold on. God placed these desires in your heart so that they should be fulfilled. 
He's not a false god that would run roughshod all over your dreams and desires. So it's safe to surrender everything to the, to the divine. All the way. God's not your parents. Not your biologicals, anyway. If that resonates, then bring a lot of peace and compassion to that part of you. The divine mother, father is not a controlling parent. The desire in your heart comes from the divine. You will receive more, not less, than what you currently have. So please don't think that change will diminish anything. It, it always adds, so it's safe to surrender to joy here. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. If you would like a personal reading or Twin Flame coaching, please check the description box below. And I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.